everybody, welcome to another recap of Survivor South Pacific with a little redemption thrown in. Last week Edna was voted out and that really pissed me off. So everybody was feeling pretty good with their decision to take Tuna. But you know what? It's friggin' party over. They have to start consuming themselves now. It's the final five and they had a final five deal. And now it's time for them to finally eat each other. So Albert's planning a little Sophie blindside. Um, let's go to the duel challenge. All right, so that's Ozzy versus Edna. And it's a slide puzzle with a hatchet that is released. And you take the hatchet and you cut down some cubes. And then you have to do a little Rubik's Cube light where each side has to have a different color on it. So Ozzy was doing really well. And Edna was sucking. But everyone in the crowd, except for Brandon and Coach, was helping Edna along. And it, they were, you know, giving us some good help. It was very close in the end, though. And Ozzy managed to pull it out of his ass once again. Ugh. I was so hoping Edna would win because I thought Ozzy was a little cocky. All right, a lot cocky. So, back at Taytuna, Brandon and Albert are talking about getting rid of Sophie. And Sophie and Coach and Rick are talking about getting rid of Brandon. So it was so funny too because Coach was doing a little aside interview and <laughs> he was talking smack about Brandon and Brandon's like, it's okay, Coach. I wonder if he actually heard him or not. I mean, I always wondered about that on Survivor, like when they do those little interviews, like who's listening in? Weird. All right, so <laughs> when Brandon came over, he said, don't be sad, Coach. God's got everything under control. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's just so bizarro world. All right, so it's the immunity challenge, and yeah, it's climb a huge wall, collect puzzle bags. It's always puzzles. Sort them into pairs. Three don't have pairs. They are number code. You climb back up the wall and unlock the combination lock. But there's also a reward with this one. I was just telling everybody else, uh, they didn't have the food auction this, uh, I was going to say semester, <laughs> this season. And that's something that I always look forward to in the past, so I was a little disappointed about that. But the reward is a pizza delivery with sodium garlic bread. So, in the challenge, Albert was not great on the wall. He was falling far behind. Um, in the end, you know, it wasn't too exciting, the competition. It pretty much came down to Brandon versus Coach. Now, that was the exciting part. And Brandon ends up winning immunity, and Coach was pissed. I wonder if Brandon saw that, because I don't think he'd like it too much if he saw how pissed Coach was. So, Brandon gets to pick one person to join him on the uh, reward, and he picks Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick. <laughs> so the pizza arrives, and Sophie's like, mm, I'm just going to go over there and smell it. Uh, duh, you're working the crowd, girl. So Sophie tells Brandon that she's voting to get rid of Albert, and then Rick is like, yeah, me and him, uh, he said he was going to go to the final two with me, which makes Brandon freak out, because Brandon, in his mind, is like, me, Albert, and Coach, final three, or death. So <laughs> Brandon has a major freak out. He's going nutso. Um... Then, all of a sudden, he has a little chat with Albert, and it's like he turned on a dime. And he's like, you know what? You deserve to be here. And But the way Brandon says it, it's like, you know what? You deserve to be here. I will give you my immunity necklace. <laughs> and Albert is just like, okay, I'll take it. Um, really weird. And then um, he has a little chat with Coach. And he explains his uh, weird decision to give away immunity, and that's because he feels confident that Albert and Coach will not vote him off. So it's a lock. Okay, um, Coach is like, yeah, I'll get back to you on that. I'm going to have to pray on it. And Coach said that he prayed many, many times, and the same name kept coming up. Wonder who. All right, so <laughs> that was bizarre. <sighs> At Tribal. No sooner does it begin than Brandon pops up and is like, I'm giving my immunity to Albert. Even friggin' Probstie was speechless. It was crazy. Then Brandon tells about um, his former gang life and everything, and Probstie's like, uh, it doesn't sound like a gang. <laughs> All right, and it didn't. Not really. Um, 
Albert is not going to give the necklace back either because Propsty was all like, well, if you thought he was in trouble, would you give it back? Yeah, but I don't think he's in trouble, so I'm keeping it. All right, so P.S. Brandon's voted out. <laughs> Guess you were wrong, Albert. Oops. So the clincher of this episode came at the very end when Coach gave him the uh, old whisper in the ear. It's God's will, Brandon. Now go win redemption. <laughs> oh my God, this is just getting crazier and crazier. But unfortunately, there's only one more episode left, and that is this Sunday. Sept uh, September, December 18th. I'm all a flustered. I can't even believe it. So that's going to be the final duel. It's a two hour episode. You know how they do this. The two hour episode with the reunion afterwards. So it's actually three hours. Should be good fun though because uh, I'm sure all the Hanses will be there. <laughs> will they be taking bullets for everyone? That's crazy. Alright, so um... Let me know who, you're, who you want to win Redemption. Now, the general consensus at our house seems to be Ozzy. Because he's the only... Well, or maybe Rick, but he didn't really do anything. Who knows? Let me know who you think. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Ozzy. Okay. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Till next Sunday. Till this Sunday. Much love.